Hello and welcome. I am Chef Keith with Benny Keith Foods and I'm here today with Grande Cheese. Hello. I'm glad to be here. My name is Rich Alexander. Been with Grande Cheese 30 years. Uh, I wanted to just share with you a few things about Grande and what makes it different from the other cheese cuts. So I, I don't know if you know this, but Grande is a big deal and Grande Cheese just has that flavor. Nobody else has it. It just, it blows my mind like, why? Why is that? Well, does it start? It all starts with the quality of the milk. And we, we spend a lot of money on the dairy side. We have a, a force of dairy experts that work with the dairy farms exclusively. Uh, we have veterinarians. So there's a lot of time and money spent on the dairy side to produce a milk that is basically five times better than grade A milk. So in other words, the milk that we go to the grocery store and drink, this is better than that, so you can imagine the quality. A lot. It's a lot <laughs> so uh, we start with the quality of the milk, and that leads into everything that uh, the restaurants get to experience whenever they start using brandy. Uh, from there's no any taking agent or cellulose uh, in the bags if you're using our dye shred, which is phenomenal because just about everybody else put cellulose in their bag. They sure do. And you get that little dust at the end. Yeah. And it then even burns, you know, when they burns, cook. Yes. So, yes. Yes. So, uh, so this is going to be cheese that's going to be good for high, the high temperature oven. Very high temperature. Awesome. All of these cheeses, obviously, the big mover is Pizza Shop wanting something that consistently works and has flavor that's going to keep bringing back this customer or our customers. So that's one thing. And then we get into uh, yield factor. Okay. Uh, Tell me about that. Grande basically, across the board, two four ounce savings across the board on their sizes of pizza. It comes out to about three cents more because uh, we're about 50 cents on the average higher than the other cheese that's national. But if you're using less cheese per pizza, right. then that kind of changes the number. And we help get into portion control. So awesome. uh, we've got cups that we can give you that are set for our shreds and sizes. Uh, or, I, you know, we have scales that you can get for like 25 bucks off Amazon. Absolutely. If you and you know, and if you're not measuring cheese where the money's at in pizza world, yep. and if you're not measuring some way, somehow, you're missing the boat, you could be throwing a lot of money out. The other thing is consistency with your product. So, especially in pizza world, you got to have that consistency because yep. If I fell in love with XYZ Pizza Company, when I come back, I want it to be that same experience that I had last time, correct? Correct. Keep flavor. When I go back to customers, and I've had customers for 30 years, I ask them, I like to ask them, what, what are a couple of things that are the reason you still stay with Grimey? Obviously, they have several, but the first two that come out, flavor, consistency. Absolutely. The other cheeses have good days and bad days. Grimey only has good days. I love so. it. Uh, <laughs> and the confidence to be able to say that. That's yeah. awesome. But I've uh, never heard complaints about grande cheese ever, which is crazy to me. So I think what you're saying is true. Uh, <laughs> one question a lot of customers have is, okay, so there's dice, there's shredded, there's part skin, there's all milk. What what cheese is right for me? And, and where do you see customers using part skin, for example, versus whole milk months? Part skin, honestly, is going to have a little of that butter fat skinned out of it. So sometimes it's just a preference thing. Okay. Uh, and then sometimes it's because they're so used to the oiling off of the other cheeses yes. and it's causing problems, so they want part skin. But a lot of people like part skin because uh, holding, right? holding power, yeah. delivery, carry out. They don't want as much butter fat on yes. the pie because it's gonna be 20 or 30 minutes later before they open up the I see. Uh, so I see a lot of uh, convenience stores as well that they're, um, they're, they're using part skin just yep. because they're putting it in the hot box and sit forever and they don't want it just to just get newsy everywhere. Exactly. So there's a lot of different ways, but sometimes it just boils down to what the, the, the restaurant person wants to use. Absolutely. Uh, obviously in Texas, the whole meal is the number one mover. Uh, and I would say East Coast as well, correct? East Coast is right behind it. Yep. Yep. Very so, good. Uh, those so if you're a New York pizza guy or you're a a Jersey pizza guy, you're using whole milk. Okay. 
Yeah, and we came up with this new one recently called Fumella, and uh, Ben Key's doing quite well with it. It's uh, uh, it's not shredded, lightly smoked over cherry and hickory. Wow. We did our research and our homework. So many of them out there were too strongly smoked. Okay. And it overpowered the whole product, which made it where you could only eat one or two pieces of pizza or whatever it was on. Okay. So it was overpowering, didn't complement the other kind of the other ingredients. So basically, it's the perfect smoke. So it gives a tremendous flavor, but it doesn't take over. Love it. Love it. So we got options. We got options and, and basically our provolone is unlike anybody else's provolone. It's like what you would have had in Italy years ago. Uh, again, all these recipes are from Italy. From Italy. <laughs> Romney's family owned, started in 1941. The actual founder of Romney was a cheesemaker in Italy. Love it. So lots of lots of formulas and recipes that are still carried on uh, that make this also different. So. Ricotta as well. We got uh, yes, and we have four kinds. Uh, you guys carry two of ours, and the whipped, which is the most common when used out there. Very convenient. Uh, softly whipped, spreads, goes into lasagnas, goes into even a lot of people are using it for cannoli. Okay. Uh, this one here is the Del Pisano, which is an impostata ricotta, which is a thick, dense product. Commonly used on the East Coast in bakeries uh, for, for raviolis, or uh, it's, it's very dry, so yes. there's not tons of moisture, so it goes good into like so people cool. using ravioli machines. Yes, and this is what most bakeries use for cannoli cream on the East Coast. Okay, so it can also be used. I've got customers that basically like this because of its density. Uh, they both hold up in high heat and don't water off. But this will have very little water. Awesome. So, if you are interested in checking out Grande Cheese, um, please get in touch with your sales representative today and let's get this guy to come out and talk to you and have a look at, at the product, try it, taste it yourself, and see if it's right for your business. Thank you for your time today and thank you for, for being you. here with us and teaching us a bit. And hopefully in the next one, we'll, we'll kind of do a little more deep dive into, into your cheese and different products that, that uh, Grande offers, which are awesome products. Please like and subscribe as we would like to build this channel up. Hit that notification bell. That way you are the first to know when we come up with a great idea. Thank you so much, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you, Keith.